Okay, so I want to show you how to do an isometric drawing of your skills box and um, we need some isometric paper to do that with. Isometric paper has a grid on it and some of you will be familiar. It has um, vertical lines that run straight down and then it has diagonal lines that run this way and then diagonal lines that run that way. So you shouldn't have any horizontal lines, which would be this way. You wouldn't have those on an isometric grid. So if you ever get the paper like this, it's not correct. You need to put the paper in this position. So we're gonna do uh, a nice drawing of this box and I'll, I'll get you started on that. Um, so we need to find a place to start. Um, I'm going to sort of draw this box uh, three-dimensional running sort of up this direction. So for the front face here, this front corner that faces us, and we're going to find a starting point. Start about there. Hopefully my pencil shows up for you. Um, we could do this to size as well. We could actually draw this to size. So... That's uh, about six and a half centimeters or 65 millimeters. So let's actually do this. Let's do this the right size. I'm going to pencil lines really dark for you. So you can see on the screen. Uh, the length here overall about 20. So 20 centimeters. Now this side this side is going to run up like that way. So I need to put my ruler on the grid. I've got 20 on my starting point. I'm just going to make sure my ruler runs along that grid up to where I want it to go. So I've got two lines and then I'll get my next one on there so you can start to see the side of the box come together. Okay, so that's one dimension. So that's this side, and now we need to do the we need to do the end. So we know the height was six and a half. The width here it's about eight eight centimeters or eighty millimeters. Once you have one line measured, things get a bit easier, or I hope. So we're just going to take this line up from where we finished it, and it needs to be in line with that one there. Let me just bring it back round to where we started. So now we've got two dimensions of the box, and we need just to pop the top on. So this back corner, that's going to run along the grid. So this is my starting point here, and I want to end this line to be in line with where this line would come along the grid. So they would both, these two lines would meet here. Okay, so now we've got our main box. This is called creating, not creating, like crate, like a box. We draw things inside a box to make it easier for ourselves. Now, um, we've got an edge here. We now want to put that onto the, the top of the box. It's about a centimeter. It's actually like nine millimeters. So we're just going to use the grid. So you've got these kind of spacings. These are normally half a millimeter apart. Or well, sorry, half a centimeter apart. Get it right, sir. So that edge runs all the way around. We've got this edge running all the way around. And then you can see that it actually drops down about half a centimeter here. So there's an inside edge that we need to create now. Remember that the grid spacing should be around half a centimeter. 
So I'm just going to bring that down there, draw that line across, draw this line across there. So now hopefully you can see that the grid does make it a bit difficult for some people to see. So we've made this inside edge. Perhaps now we should look at adding this bottom bit on. So we've got the MDF there. So we should have like a double edge down here. Um, I'm going to go off the grid a little bit here, but I'm going to still follow parallel to the lines that are on the grid. Like that. This MDF is only about three millimeters thick, so we want it to look quite thin on the picture. 